Guys, it feels like we had to wait forever, but it is finally here. A brand new update coming to Clash that I really could have never, ever imagined. We gotta check this out, guys. Here we go. Cool. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. And look, in a normal video, I'm gonna, you know, sit here and do an intro and chat with you guys and hang out. We don't really have that today. Guys, we gotta check out this new stuff. If you have been on Clash today or or YouTube or any of it, uh, you know, the social medias where, where Clash is, you might have seen that they posted about the clan capital update, right? You can see at the bottom, but we're actually watching the video right now live, but it's about the clan capital update and we're sort of seeing it here as well. We're gonna go over it. Guys, this is more different than anything I would have expected from them, right? They did the builder base. Sure, it's not for everybody, but it's there. This is something entirely different, guys. This is another mode, another area of the game. I kind of want to say it's what the builder base should have been. Look at this. Guys, what is that golem thing? I... <laughs> I have been wanting something like this for so long because it reminded me, it made me think about the thing from Boom Beach called, was it raids? Everybody in your clan attacks a base, a target, a single really difficult map. And I always thought that would work well in Clash. And frankly, I'm surprised it took until 2022 for them to get this in the game. But when you go all the way back to Clan Wars, how much that changed the game for the better, I think this could be the same, guys. There's gonna be different loot, there's gonna be different rewards, but they are gonna benefit us on the main base as well. Guys, this one, I don't know if any of us are gonna even use this, but there's something really cool. You're gonna be able to get these medals over there in this new mode, you know, and we're, we're gonna talk about that more, but you're gonna be able to use them on the main base as well, which I really like. But for now, let me see, is this all that was in this one? Yeah, okay, it's great video, dude. You guys gotta watch this. They put so much work into this stuff. Like they shot this on a green screen with like props and everything, it's amazing. But let me go back to the beginning. As I said, we can just skip through all this stuff. This right here is what impressed me the most. Look at this. So we've got troops that we like, troops that we love, and stuff that we've never seen before. Every one of the defenses is different. I just wanna zoom in on every one of them and, and figure out like what's going on here. And what is that giant ship thing? Is that gonna be like a siege? I I hope so. Guys, does that hog rider have a mini hog rider next to him? Okay, I'm losing my mind, I'm losing my mind, I'm losing my mind. I gotta go back to the beginning, guys. Some of these buildings have got me so psyched, but do they look like Clash? Maybe it's the colors. It's probably the colors. It's probably the colors, honestly. Okay, now I don't wanna sit on one particular thing because there's so much to see here, but I do wanna say, one thing I heard in the in the dev build video that you're gonna hear when you watch it, when we are attacking these clan capital things as a team, there is gonna be progress between, like if you and me both attack, I can drop a spell for you. Like now I just wanna go in there and just like help my clanmates. I don't even care if I raid. I just wanna help them drop spells everywhere, do whatever I can. But I think the thing that most of us are gonna be looking at is this giant golem here. This thing looks wild. So we're going backwards here, guys. But in this clan capital, which is going to be here all the time, they mentioned that there is going to be weekend raids. Now, again, we don't have an idea of what that's gonna be like because that's never existed in the game. But they said, look, they're gonna do a test run of this and then every single weekend, it's gonna be going off. And I love the idea of that so much because when do most of us play the weekend? And sometimes it's not as fun to play normal raids on the weekend because there's too many people online. All the loot is taken. Sometimes it's, it's harder to play on the weekend. If there's something like this that we can mess with, we should just do it. Okay, so if you take apart the fact that a lot of this stuff doesn't really look like Clash. I love it. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this part on half speed so we can slowly watch this. I don't wanna miss anything. I love that big cannon. I love that, what's that rocket launcher thing? That thing looks wild. What's it, are there nukes in Clash now? Like I, I think there is. What else could that possibly be? Now, I think to anybody who is averse to change, like I am sometimes, if something changes too much, I'm like, what? This doesn't seem like me. I get it. I think we got to give it a chance, dude. I think we got to see what this is all about because there's going to be... Oh, there's that ship. Oh my, oh my God. It's like the rocket from Royale, but it just like does it itself. Guys, that made me happy. That made me happy. So it looks like basically we saw rockets from Clash Royale, but they're in a defense. Now you saw right there as well, see how there was progress and then more progress was made. That's what we were saying, that this is a collaborative thing where one person in your clan can start, then the second person stops where they left off. And that's what they're talking about in the background. We're not playing their voice right now, but that's what they're talking about. Dude, is that a bridge spell? What is that spell? 
Okay, was that a bridge spell? It's gotta be. Did you see? They just walked over. They walked over the water. I love those rockets so much. And I love how on the edge, guys, this seems like it's combining so many Supercell games into one. This, it looks like Everdale to me. It really does look like Everdale. I've been playing that farming game, Everdale, and I love it. It's nothing like this, but it's got the vibe. Oh, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Oh my goodness. Guys, it's all different troops, or, or not not all different, but it's like the same troops, but slightly different in some cases. Oh my goodness, what's that ship thing? You see that hog rider down at the bottom there? It's like multiple hogs on the icon. If the name of that is Hoggo Gang, I will get it tattooed on my back right here. <laughs> it's like, that's like the challenge that nobody asked for. Oh my goodness, look at the spells. So they're the same, but the, see, this is where the builder base went wrong, I feel like, is that they didn't have spells. It's such a simple thing where spells make the game more fun. What's this one right here? No idea. I wish I could click on info so bad. Ah, this is driving me nuts. Guys. Look at that Capitol building right there. You've got to be kidding me. That That is Tunnel 9 style, right? I feel like there are so many things that we are going to learn so fast as soon as we get into this, right? Like, are we even going to have things that we want to jam over here? Probably. I don't know why I just said that. Of course we are. And we have a sponsor that is going to cover a lot of that when we first get into it. But it's it's got to be one of those things where since it's made for 50 people, you can't just jam to max on this thing. There's no way. Hey, so I don't wanna I don't wanna talk about it too much, but look at the infernos. There's something about those that are just amazing. So guys, I know I'm kind of out of order here, off topic, but one of the interesting things I heard about troops, there is not gonna be a laboratory over here. You're gonna upgrade and unlock troops by buildings. Your buildings are going to be connected to that. So maybe there's like a wizard hut, right? That's probably not the name, but you know what I mean. Okay, so that's what we were talking about right there, guys. That makes me so happy. I don't know why. So I think it's kind of fun that we can think about it that way. There is no laboratory. It would have been weird if there was just a third laboratory. Like, we don't need that. We need it to be very different. And because this is a collaborative thing, I think it's going to be fun. Okay, do you guys see up here? I have seen that circle several times now, and I just noticed it. Do you guys see that little spiral circle there? What's going on with that? Guys, I am just so excited and nervous and like my ADHD is really struggling with this today because, oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna have different layouts? I'm really struggling with this guy. And there's, fun. Anyway, look, let us know how you're doing in the comments below. Oh, that looked sick. That looked sick. Okay, be sure to leave two for Lulu, three for Melly, and four for Paya. I have no idea what I would wanna build first in this. And I can't wait to like mess around with my clan and, and figure that out, right? Hey, we love you guys. And we will see you right here tomorrow on the one and only Beaker's Lab. Maybe we get to talk about this stuff more. I hope so.